how you judge me and what you try and keep me from doing is kind of futile. Because at the end of the day, I I'm gonna do what I want. I do think there is a wrong and a right. I don't think my beliefs are gonna change for a long time. My name is Alex Vanderhoek. I live in West Hollywood, California. I'm a writer and performer. I try to be as open as possible. I just happen to find most liberal policies more convincing. My name is Micah Diaz. I'm uh, 25 years old out of Riverside, California. I'm a uh, production manager over at Celine Automotive. And I drift in my spare time. People are afraid to talk about their opinion and where they stand. I do stand more toward the conservative side. The left with the gender fluid and, and all these like, in my opinion, these cuckoo things that I don't really understand. I don't, I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. They think all these things are like racist and offensive and all this stuff. It seems more of like a softer side of the aisle. The primary problem is fear. We're afraid of things we don't know. It limits your view of people and what you're willing to accept from other people. I think of America as this country, as my house. And so if you're gonna just come into my house and I don't know who you are, I don't know anything about you, I don't know if you're trying to come in and hurt me. And I'll just add, I'm, I'm Mexican and Puerto Rican. So like, I still want a wall, dude. Build a freaking wall, like we need to have, our properties are property, you know what I mean? And people don't like how we got it, but nations have been taking over nations since the beginning of time. It is what it is. America should be a place where everyone can succeed. And I get that for a conservative, they are mostly focused on their family succeeding and not necessarily everyone else. I do think there is a wrong and a right. You know, the sanctity of marriage, I believe, is between a man and a woman. For gay marriage, I, I just don't. It's just not right. I don't think it's right. The Bible's pretty clear on it. What you might see as flaws or sins or, you know, whatever, if that's how you choose to interpret the Bible, know that that is your interpretation of the Bible, and that is not necessarily how God intended you to read the Bible. Just love. That's what the Bible says to do is just to love. I definitely believe that who you surround yourself with will shape and form your beliefs. I was raised by a, a Marine. When my dad was alive, he was always into politics and I didn't even care. Now that he's passed away, to just not care and like throw it in the trash, that just seems like dishonoring to me and like disrespectful. I grew up in a largely Republican place. My parents would question certain beliefs that I'd have and they'd say, oh, why did you believe that? And so I always had to defend my beliefs. People just write each other off and I'm guilty. I write people off all the time. I'm like, oh, I don't wanna to talk to you. That's something I definitely have to work on. When you get shut off because someone believes a certain thing, it's like, how are we ever gonna get anywhere? As long as we keep being true to ourselves and communicate our pain and our struggles and our stories authentically, then we will achieve the progress that we're, we're seeking to get. There's all these things I really want to accomplish in life and these things I want to do in life. If not in any kind of Hollywood or acting or, or stunt driving, um, then hopefully running my own company and making my own income. I hope to get a house, to buy a house. I hope to get married and I hope to have children. I think love would be the key. Let other people live the way they want and accept people for who they are. You need to be able to talk to people is really the biggest thing. There's really not this giant disconnect between different people. 